Hello and welcome to Hacks, where today we're doing some more Port Swigger Web Security Academy. We're looking again at the SQL Injection Labs and we're going to be doing this one here, SQL Injection Attack, querying the database type and version on Oracle. So Oracle is a different type of database to the ones we've been looking at before. I believe what we have been looking at previously is um, MySQL databases. So this should be interesting. I know the syntax is slightly different on this one. You can see I have already, I have already done it, but SQL injection attack, querying the database type and version on Oracle. This lab contains an SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. You can use a union attack to retrieve the results from an injected query. To solve the lab, display the database version string. So let's access the lab. So as you can see, we have a relatively basic site, not much functionality going on. And then we have these links at the top. These are likely going to call parameters, which are then going to call SQL queries to retrieve the contents of that filter. So this could be doing select all from category where equals accessories or something to that effect. Now we do know that the vulnerability is in the filter, so we can try to demonstrate that now. So if we head over to intercept, turn it on and click on accessories, we should get this pop up. We can send that to our trusted tool repeater. And what we can do is we can try and append a single quotation mark onto the end of the string and onto the end of the parameter and hit send and hopefully that will give us a 500 internal server error suggesting that there's a problem with our syntax. So how do we sort of verify that the SQL injection vulnerability is there? Well, we go back to our union attack and I think we're going to have possibly two or three columns on this one. It's all been two previously. So we're just going to do union plus select plus null plus null then this is where the syntax changes plus from dual and then we'll send that okay so that hasn't worked Product category equals gifts union plus select plus null null from dual hyphen hyphen bad request let's try it with one null 500, let's try it with two nulls. Let's try it with three nulls. Interesting. Okay, so I'm not really sure what I was doing wrong there, but if you see, it is two nulls from Jewel. So we do a union select null null, so that's going to be the two columns, whether it's the title and the text from Jewel. Now, I believe Jewel is um, a specific syntax to Oracle. You'd have to search it up on Stack Overflow or somewhere like that why you have to specifically select Jewel. I just remember reading it and having to do it this way. But we now know that we have a successful SQL injection because it's returning a 200 instead of a 500 error meaning that it's now accepting the syntax so what we can do now is we can do union select and then the first we can select banner because we know they both support text because one's just the title one's just the text so we're selecting the banner 
from and instead of dual we now use the dollar version v e r s i o n and we send that and that should give us a 200 okay and if we render that you can see there you need to select version from banner and it's core 11 2.0.2 which is the correct value so we've already completed the lab but what you can do now is you can just copy that statement pull it back into the proxy click forward click forward 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 and that should have solved the lab for you or solved it twice so yeah a bit shaky there at the start again uh, I'm not sure what was wrong with my syntax it was a bit odd I did try it with two nulls first of all after review the footage and see where I messed up but there you go you've got the version of the Oracle database there and that's it that's how you solve the lab I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time kind regards